Hey guys, it's Wolfmaiden, and today I'm going to show you the Escondido Ren Fair. This was back in November, and I posted a picture on Instagram as a tease. So it's been a bit of time, but I finally have the time to edit it and everything, so here it is. This is the overview, similar to my other Ren Fair videos. I have raw footage of the jousting, the sword swallowing, and the staged combat that they had. That will be in a separate video because it would make this one way too long, but it will come sometime after this one. This video does have brief teasings of some of those things, otherwise you'll just see the, the entirety of that in the other video. I got a lot of footage from this fair, a lot, there were lots more things than the Idle Wild Ren Fair, so that was pretty cool. Feel free to pause when you see something interesting because a lot of the clips are pretty quick because there were so many things, but there's so much to see. And it was a really exciting time. I know my battery did die near the end. I was there from around like 10 to 5 p.m. with my friends. So next time I have to bring a charger. <laughs> Timestamps will be in the description box below. And feel free to skip throughout the video for things that you actually wanna see. Otherwise, I'm gonna start you guys off on the morning of the day of the fair when I was getting ready. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, it's Wolf Maiden, and welcome to another Ren Fair morning where I didn't get enough sleep for how early I was going to wake up today. So today I'm going to be going for more of a armored look than anything. I was originally going to go Viking, but um, now it's sort of a hybrid thing. So probably just more fantasy than anything. So yeah, I'll get started. I wish I could say that I planned this outfit out the day before, but nothing ever goes the way that I plan it, which is fine by me, but I ended up with something completely different than what I was originally going for, which is hilarious to me. I put in all the effort to put these things on and then I just changed it up at the end. I also ended up loaning a lot of my extra bits to friends so that they could complete their um, outfits. And maybe in the future I'll be able to sponsor somebody's fair or LARP outfit of you guys, which I think would be pretty cool. Since I need somebody else to help me put this on, I'm going to probably wait to do the final look because I need this belt on top of this. And then I'm going to put all my um, fixings to a fair. I'll probably take this Berg Shiner bag to go with and put a majority of my things in it anyway, even though I have a pouch for my belt. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, so this is actually what I ended up with. I have my bag, I've got this, I've got my sword in it downstairs, um, and yeah, I got this on a little bit lighter weight than I thought I was going to be. I was going to do more full armor, but yeah, I'm just going to do this for now. So this was where it started, where we entered from. and then the first part of the fair that we saw. Then shortly afterward, there were horses that people were riding, and that was pretty cool. They rode this around the fair for a bit. And lots and lots of vendors. So many, so many swords and everything. They had so many things, everything from fabrics to clothing and feast wares and swords, knives. I think there were also taxidermy animals, like little animals there, although I don't think I got that on camera. They were kind of... It was weird, but it was kind of interesting.
Oh, the plates. Oh, there's the such beautiful brass and pewter things here. So many dogs, all sorts of things, and you'll see a bunch of shots of dogs just scattered throughout this uh, video. <laughs> Of course, there were also hats, belts, jewelry, bags, cups, containers. I think there were coins as well. Chainmail, like armor. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Missed a lot of the shows just by virtue of walking around, shopping and stuff. But I got a few things that will be in a separate video, and some that are in this one. They had a huge procession. And a lot of really great performers. I think the day we we went particularly was a pirate day or part of the fair was a pirate fair something like that they had a large section for themselves That had a lot of fantasy uh, elements as well, which was really cool to see, but there were also reenactors. I also apologize, my camera was acting up. If you see it, try to focus and refocus. That's why it's just... Yeah, dropped it one too many times. got the procession from a different angle and from the start I ran to the other side of the fair to capture it but I got both sides of the procession a reminder that timestamps are below if you did want to skip
after the procession we continued to go shopping. There were a lot of really cute little things. More dogs. And music. You like the gauntlet? Bring it! Oh, you got your eyes for the fighting! Oh, 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 I also ended up not drinking this fair because the line was about an hour long. One of the people in our group had gone to get a drink and came back 45 minutes later. So I think the wait for the food was just as long and we ended up not getting any medieval food stuff. Just whatever the line was shortest because we were very hungry. <laughs> me up really <laughs> when you're just casually passing by you know this is my life it's what i do i do it on fire nice. oh my goodness <laughs> doing it with these long sleeves there were so many things i wish i had gotten in hindsight now looking back at things I spent the most money on somebody else rather than myself, and you'll see in a, in a separate video what we all got at the fair. Which includes what I purchased them, so...
but everything at this fair was super awesome. It was it was huge. It was a huge fair. There were fake battles and things. There was archery. Just really all sorts of things. We did not have enough time in the in the one day that we went to see everything. We I believe we saw all the shops, but we weren't able to see all the shows because we saw all the shops. But it was a lot of fun. It's not fair. That's not it's so unfair. It's totally unfair. I mean, the darkness spell she casts will never be as the dark humans, as their The souls. humans do get plus one to like everything. After all the jousting and staged combat, it was back to shopping again, and this was the store that I wish that I had looked at their clothing more. They had some really pretty colorful clothes, and my wardrobe, in an attempt to actually have something match everything, I didn't get a whole lot of color. I didn't commit to any particular color. Or any colors really, other than corsets. And yeah, I wish I had. So maybe in the future I'll buy or make something more colorful to adorn my outfits, whatever that may be. But either way, it was fun to browse. It was really great. One of my friends came without any garb, and you'll see at the end. He ended up buying like a basic outfit, which he can build off of, which was pretty cool. The other two of my friends that are going to be in this video and were in the picture on Instagram. The other two of my friends, I outfitted with stuff myself, which will be another separate video when I can get everybody together. Of LARP basics for men. There's a cheaper version and then there's the more durable there's the more durable, higher quality stuff as well in that. This is Ivan, going for a rogue look. 
You can uh, recognize my armor on him. I lent him some stuff. And this is Ashton. He bought all his garb here. And this is Matt. He came with the basics, not the vest or the hat. And this is the group. I didn't really know what to do here, so I just told them all to stand together with me before we took a picture. This was a really fun fair. And I'm really glad my friends got into it with me. We all came away looking awesome, having a lot of fun, tired, thirsty. Uh, but uh, it, it was great. And that was the basic overview of the fair. Like I said, there will be a separate video for sword swallowing, jousting, and the stage combat that they have. So look out for that in the coming weeks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Escondido Ren Fair. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.